Hello, welcome to BusyPing.com. My name is Arun Nair. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on doing an untethered jailbreak of your iOS 8.4 device. It could be an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. All right, so let's get started. The first step is to back up your device. In order to do that, connect your device with a USB cable to your computer and then launch iTunes if it is not launched automatically and ensure that your device is detected. Once your device is detected, click backup now and your device will be backed up. You can back it up to your iCloud or to your computer. It doesn't matter. The next step is to ensure that you have iTunes 12.1.0. In order to check what version you have, just hit the Alt key and you get the menu bar. Click Help, go to About iTunes and you see the version here. If you have a lower version, go ahead and upgrade it. If you have an upgraded version, then go ahead and downgrade your iTunes. In order to know how to downgrade your iTunes, click the link below on this video and it will take you to another video tutorial on how to do that. The next step is to disable auto lock on your device. In order to do that, go to settings and go to general. And if you scroll down, you will see auto lock. Tap auto lock and set it never. Then go back. And now you need to disable passcode and touch ID as well. In order to do that, again, go to settings. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see touch ID and passcode. Tap that, enter your current passcode, and then tap turn passcode off. It'll ask you for passcode again. Enter your passcode again and your passcode is off. Make sure you also disable uh, Touch ID in case you have registered. And then you will have to turn off Find My iPhone. In order to turn off Find My iPhone, go to Settings and go to iCloud. And if you scroll down, you will have Find My iPhone. Tap Find My iPhone and move the slider off. It will prompt you for your password. Enter your iCloud password and it will turn off Find My iPhone. I'm going to pause the video while I'm turning off my Find My iPhone. So you can see my Find My iPhone is turned off right now. Now you are ready to jailbreak your device. Before you start the jailbreak process, close your iTunes, then launch your browser and search for the software called Taiji. So type download Taiji and you will get the first link Taiji.com. Click that. And today Taiji website is down. This happens occasionally. Today Taiji's web website is down. So you will have to download Taiji from a different source. So I'm going to use the second link, www.iphonehacks.com. And if I open that, I'll have to look for the version 2.4.1. So I'm going to click download link and Taiji is going to download. I'm going to pause the video while it's downloading. Okay, so now Taiji is downloaded and I go to my downloads folder, right click, extract all, extract, and here you go. Now I'll have to right click and click run as administrator and Taiji will start detecting your phone. Okay, so now Taiji has detected my iPhone and it is ready for jailbreak. Now this is a software that you want to install, Cydia. The 3K assistant it's really not required, you can uncheck that. and can close it and now you can go ahead and start by clicking just the start button now it's going to take a little while I'm going to fast forward this video as much as possible however you can see through the you know progress so you can uh, you see now that my iPhone is actually uh, switched off it's basically rebooting And because you have uh, an older version of iTunes, it might prompt to upgrade because your device restarted and, you know, w w once it restarted, again detected iTunes. So I'm just going to unlock my device again. And I'm going to say no thanks for this. And let Taiji to continue the jailbreak process. So you might get the storage almost full. You can ignore that. Just click done. And now it is again restarting your device right now. All right, so the jailbreak is successful. Now that's what Taiji says. Let's see what happens on the iPhone. So I'm going to close Taiji right now and minimize iTunes. So you get the message again, storage almost full. Just ignore that, slide it and now you can see your device is detected on your uh, iTunes so just to ensure that it the it properly works I go into Cydia and uh, Cydia will prepare the file system this will take a little while 
Now, in case if you do not see any apps that you previously installed, uh, don't freak out. It's because Cydia is yet to prepare the file system. Once the file system is prepared, you should be able to see all your apps which you installed previously. Now, during this process, so, uh, during this process of preparing the file system, Cydia might restart the Springboard. So you can see that it's not actually restarting the device; it's just restarting the Springboard, which is the basic interface of uh, iOS and it'll take uh, a little while. Okay, so now you can see Cydia is restarting the springboard and it appears that the iPhone is restarting but it's actually the springboard and it'll, it'll just happen very quickly. All right, now if I swipe and if I go into Cydia, I can see everything here. I can go to uh, sources. I can go to all packages. It's nothing in here. So all sources, all packages. So you can see all these packages installed. Okay, so that is it. Your iPhone or iPad or iPod touch running iOS 8.4 is jailbroken. Now you're free to do anything on that. I hope you enjoyed this this video. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe.